Alright, so hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, I understand that recently I haven't been uploading the normal style of content that I've been doing, like, you know, like the highly edited stuff, but I won't lie, it's been like, um, finals and like testing weeks, so I haven't really been able to record anything, I'm sorry for that. I have been trying to stream, um, if you want to see that, I have it on my YouTube page if you really care for that. But, um, today we just got a reveal for Dragon Ball Legends that extreme made me extremely happy. I won't lie, I've seen people, they're not as happy as me, but I have a personal bias. Um, but as you've seen, or if you've watched it, you saw that the new characters that are going to be coming out are, of course, Desert Bandit Yamcha, or Youth Yamcha, as they call him in-game. And this launch, which is very, it's a very interesting set of characters. Um, so in this discussion time, I'm gonna try to discuss, uh, mainly what I think these characters are gonna be part of, what color they're gonna be, and overall their potential, because I think a lot of people are really sleeping on what these characters are actually going to be capable of. Um, some people are saying that these are gonna be joke characters, some are saying that this is gonna be an instant skip no matter what. Um, I just want, I just want to discuss it, because this is a very, this is a very interesting set of characters, especially when you consider, um... Especially when you consider what's been going on recently. So, of course, so I'll play the animations if you haven't seen them. Um, of course, this is the Yamcha. I personally think that this is an ultimate card. And this is going to, of course, be a blue card. Uh, it's it's very interesting set of characters. I won't lie. Um, so, I'll get these tabs open. And, uh, yeah, let's go and discuss. Alright, so, of course, I'm going to first start off with Yamcha. As Yamcha, at least in my opinion is the not uh, not even just in my opinion yamcha is currently the only character out of the two that actually does have characters but i'm still questioning um what team he'll really be on of course i've pulled up the extreme yamcha as that is or that has been the most recent yamcha to come to the game um so what i'm mainly gonna probably see is we're probably gonna see him buff super warrior if he's not buffing a tag specifically um well, if he's buffing a specific tag, he's definitely probably going to buff Super Warrior out of anything, which is a bit, which would be a bit odd. Um, but also, I would kind of like that, because Super Warrior literally has not received any new characters since these, uh, the Krillin, Yamcha, and Tien Extremes ever came out. Um, but of course, the main team I think he's personally going to buff is, of course, Original Dragon Ball Saga, which is a team that I've been preaching that I've wanted as a tag in the game since I first started um, And it's a uh, it's it's kind of sad to see this because this tag has a lot of potential um, For units um, if they do like an overhaul that they did with something like let's say future um, When the second anniversary came around because if you don't remember before the second anniversary, Future was sort of like an average tag. There wasn't really a lot of units you could really... Well, it's not that there wasn't a lot of units, but the units that were good on Future were better on other teams. Because the other teams were just better in general. And, um... They sort of overhauled it as time went on. And it reached its peak when you hit the second anniversary. As Future legitimately had some of the best units in the entire game at that time. And, um... I wonder if they're going to do something similar to that with original Dragon Ball Saga. Because if you've noticed, uh, I think legit, the last character we've received as an original Dragon Ball Saga character, I think, is this Extreme Chi-Chi. Um, it's either that, I, mean, I think that's the latest one, but the latest sparking we've got is Bunny Bulma. Um, it's, it's a sad state of affairs for this tag, and it's, it has a lot of potential. Um, I'll go over, uh, something interesting later on, um, but, yeah, so as you can see at the top of here, there's only three characters that buff it, so I have a feeling the Yamcha and the Launch are both going to buff original Dragon Ball Saga, at least in my opinion, that would be the best move you could go for, um, there is something unique that you could do with Yamcha, and that is, of course, um, there's not even a tag, but, um, I guess what they could do, and I don't like this idea, but I know they've done it before, is buff colors. Um, I don't want them to do that, like, at all, because we obviously know this isn't the same PyCon, but as we all know, when they buff, they basically ruined PyCon as that style, but, um, 
yeah, that could be an idea you have for, um, of course, <laughs> of course, Yamcha. Um, Yamcha, in my opinion, out of two, is gonna have the least character variety when it comes to tags, which you can see is a weakness, but, um, I don't know, if they overhaul the original Dragon Ball Saga, I can actually see Yamcha being a decent character, it just matters what he does. Um, and then, of course, for the girls tag, you could slap launch onto here. Um, and in my opinion, the girls tag is something that, uh, of course there's an obvious color, at least in my opinion. Well, not an obvious color, but, uh, the color I definitely think they would probably use for launch might be purple. The main reason I say purple is because really the only one, like, it's been like the only color for, um, girls, or I like to call them female warriors, but girls that hasn't been getting buffed i mean you just recently got the android 21 good tag or not tag the android 21 good character that just came out um i wouldn't see why she would not be a purple for yamcha there's definitely a lot of variety um in my opinion i really hope that he's a red because original dragon ball saga currently doesn't have a red unit in the game which is kind of dumb <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of dumb now that you think about it like they literally have every other color except red so i have a feeling that's going to be the color yamcha is going to be um for launch i have a feeling she's going to be purple although you could argue that she could be a yellow unit i really hope she's not yellow but um because she'll just get blown out of the water by this android 18 because this android 18 is literally the best unit or one of the best units in the entire game right now uh i hope that she's purple maybe blue because i don't know just, i know the free android like zenkai just came out but there isn't a lot of um <laughs> good blues other than that, that android 21 um the only other one i could really see color wise is Maybe red? Yeah, actually red would probably be a really good color for her. If they released double red, um, like they did back when they released uh, Boo Tanks and Ultimate Gohan, um, that, that wouldn't surprise me too much. Um, hold on, let me just make sure and see if they don't actually have their colors on. Yeah, they still don't have their actual like colors announced yet. But um, I guess with all that out the way, discussing tags, discussing colors, I guess now it's to discuss something else. I want to talk about some characters who I personally think could really make a good mark on Dragon Ball Legends. So uh, let me go ahead and pull up some images and uh, yeah, let's get this going. For original Dragon Ball Saga characters, um, you could have a lot that could come into fruition. Um, of course, some may say maybe make a new Bulma. Uh, because Bulma is a character that I think does deserve some representation, maybe new Chi Chi, um, but one that is a character who is glaring in my eyes, is a character who is iconic to the Dragon Ball series, who still does not have a sparking, he has extremes, um, some of you may already know who I'm gonna say when it comes to original Dragon Ball Saga, and that's of course Tien. Tien's a character who I think is has a lot of sparking potential and especially if you're going to talk about an original dragon ball saga team you could definitely see tn coming to fruition as a character um he ha could have a lot going for him the big one for me is of course having him be part of one of the tournaments like specifically this tournament or maybe the one where he loses to goku um because <laughs> Or maybe even the one where he uh, breaks Yamcha's arm. That could be to Yen you have. Um, and there are some unique ideas you can do for him too. Maybe have him be uh, four witches. Um, four witches are like, you know, the transformation where he has like the four arms. Maybe make him a transformation unit. You know, Tien is one of those characters who I think is very unique in Dragon Ball. He has a very unique standing. Um, and if you're talking talk about if you're gonna talk about original Dragon Ball, I think Tien should be a character you should heavily consider to be part of that tag. The next character that I could think of is of course Master Roshi. Roshi's a character who I think has been long overdue for a sparking in the game. Uh, he's a character that's iconic to the series. Um, and for original Dragon Ball, I mean, we do have Roshis in the game, but of course we only have an extreme and hero one. So, you know, not a lot of people really use those, and even then these two units are kind of terrible. 
of course, the one that some may say, or the idea that some may say, is um, Zenkai buff the purple Master Roshi. Make him be one of those free characters he's Zenkai buff, and that could be a very interesting thing. Uh, since that he does have a good color, as he's not yellow, so it seems like yellow is the only original Dragon Ball Saga unit color that actually is viable in any way, shape, and form. Um, but, you know, it could be interesting to see that. Of course, you could just make a unique, uh, Master Roshi. Um, who knows what you could do? Roshi, again, he's in a similar boat as Tien, where he has a lot of ideas, especially when it comes to original Dragon Ball Saga. Um, this is one that I think would go hand in hand with uh, launch, and that is Anin. It seems like right now uh, Dragon Ball wants to buff the female warriors tag, or the girls tag as they call it now, um, with the release of Android 21, the Zenkai 21, and launch all in a very short period among each other. Uh, Anin could be a character that could spice things up. Of course, you know. Um, Anin's underrated, and I think that's something with original Dragon Ball that you could incorporate. A lot of characters and a lot of things in original Dragon Ball don't get a lot of representation, so you could have a lot of unique ideas when it comes to this tag. Um, and she could be interesting, you know, maybe have her, like, be like a, like, uh, Anin is a character that grows in the series, like, she, like, legitimately gets bigger in fights, so maybe have her... I have a similar gameplay style to maybe like Bergamo. Maybe have it so like, uh, she sort of like gets buffs as time goes on and have her be like a defensive character, which could be very interesting. Um, I think there's not a lot of defensive female warrior characters. Um, some people are thinking Launch will be a defense type. Personally, I don't think that will be the case. But, um, of course, um, one that's going to come up is Demon King Piccolo. Uh, you could make a new Demon King Piccolo, uh, character in my opinion what would be very interesting is to make him a transformation unit and have it so um he mainly needs dragon balls to transform and then um when he reaches max dragon balls maybe he could kill the dragon and maybe disable rising rush for a time period or maybe have him kill the enemy guy's dragon so they lose some dragon balls or maybe all their dragon balls you could you could go ham with this character it's very interesting that when it comes to Dragon Balls with DKP, since it's literally the basis of the character's motives and gameplay. Even with the original DKP that got Zenkai'd, it could be very interesting to see this character um, be used in the game. And a new sparking DKP, he could help out a lot of tags. You know, he could help regen, he could help original Dragon Ball Saga. Maybe he could buff the Namekian tag, if you remember that being a thing. And of course, lastly, I think these two are also a duo. Uh, I, I think I'd like to see in a step-up banner um, characters that I think are long overdue to be in each other, in each other, <laughs> fight each other. Is of course the I think it's like one of the last arcs of Dragon Ball, uh, the original Dragon Ball. It's of course this uh, like youthful like teen Goku versus Piccolo back when he was evil. I think right now in the game we don't have really an evil Piccolo. I think we have. I think if you count it, you could have the LF Piccolo. I guess that was him back when he was evil. But even then, that was like his transition to being a good guy. He was literally fighting alongside Goku during that. Um, it's very unique characters. Very unique ideas for original Dragon Ball Saga. And, um, I'm really happy with this release with, uh, Yamcha and Launch, because it kind of opens the doors to original Dragon Ball Saga. Um, so, while maybe, um, so while maybe, like, you might not be as excited for these characters as I am, uh, you know, they're at a very unique time span, a very unique time for the game. Uh, you know, we just saw the release of, like, some really good units, you know, we just got, um, Gogeta Blue finally in the game, Ultra Instinct Goku, Jiren, Broly, um, and then we just got the sudden release of the Good 21 and the LF Future Gohan. So, um, to have these characters release around the same time span as them, and I think that these characters are part of the 1000 Day Special, I, I think, um... It's interesting. Um, in my opinion, I'm going to summon for these characters because part of me has a feeling that original Dragon Ball Saga with the release of these characters is going to be finally getting the buff I I think it deserves. It's been a tag that's been there since the beginning of the game. It's been a tag I've been rooting for. Um, 
it's it's interesting. It's interesting to see that now they decide to release these characters. Um, what do you think of the new characters? I've seen people say that they're gonna skip this banner, and I understand that, but personally to me, I'm not gonna. I wanna see if original Dragon Ball Saga gets buffed up. Um, and of course, I'm gonna summon because this Yamcha has been a dream unit of mine since I started playing Legends. I've been playing Legends for a long ass time now. I've been playing since, uh, when originally the Red, Gogeta, and Janemba came out. And I remember I started playing back when the DKP and Hercule step up banner came up. Because if you don't remember, DKP and Hercule were both the characters for a step up banner. I think it was one of the first step up banners in the game. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting to see that they decided on these characters to be the first characters to come out recently for original Dragon Ball Saga, and I'm excited to see where they come up with. Of course, uh, again, apologies for not being able to upload my normal style of videos recently. You know, they haven't been as edited, haven't been as high octane, I guess. Um, but again, it's been finals week, uh, so I've been studying, I've been working in school, and um, yeah. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to upload again, uh, if you want to see more of me, I've actually been trying to stream recently, so I will link that in the description, and you can find it on my YouTube page, and I will see you all next time, if I happen to pull Yamcha when he comes out, expect another Dragon Ball video, because this guy, <laughs> he's been a dream of mine, I won't lie, he has been a dream of mine, to finally come out to the game. Anyways, my name is Paul. Hope you guys do enjoy the video, and hopefully you tune to the rest, and maybe check out some of my previous ones, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.